So students, in this third video, we will be continuing with the previous knowledge and I will be showing you more concepts about uh, how to handle a document in MS Word practically. So let's start the video. So students, in this session, we will continue from the previous class. In the previous class, we have completed this illustration group and I had told you about what are the things very important. See students, I will not be going through all the options which are very very important. I will be teaching you all those. Okay. So let's come back to here. In this text group, in the insert tab, text group, we have text box, we have word art which we normally use. So text box is a place where you can write something okay now some, suppose you already have created a document you want to write some extra thing into it you can either choose from the templates templates means which are predefined pehle se hai pe, or you can draw a text box see when i clicked on draw on text box the cursor has become as a plus now press and hold it and you will see your text box and within this text box you can make some changes or you can add something like hello students i am writing okay so these are very simple things you can change some colors into it you can change the outline like the way you people have changed um, uh, in a picture and something like that okay so let's remove this i'll undo it see i'm undoing it it will be gone so again i'll go to insert tab and word art word art as our word word arts are some uh, heading formats which are uh, predefined from ms of word which will use to decorate the document uh, you people must be knowing about it but still let me show you there are a very good collection of formats are here you choose any of it you put your text over here like uh, I'll, I want to give it uh, as a heading of my particular paragraph so I'll write let's say summer vacation and I'll click on ok it has come in its own style now you can change the style by clicking it if you don't like it you just change it now one more thing I had taught you in the previous class also see I cannot move it how to move it yes again click it go to text wrapping make it tight or behind the text something like that and now you can move it to anywhere I want to place it here so if you want some changes just click it and it will be changed I hope you have understood okay so let's move on to the next tab we have completed home tab we have completed insert tab now we will go to page oh one more things see equations and symbols let me just remove it uh, from i have selected it from the keyboard button i will press delete and it will be removed now equation and symbols are two things which are basically mainly used in like um, generating or making question papers uh, for physics for maths and all because they have some complex type of equations or symbols so if you click on an equation there are already predefined equation see area of a circle if I click it it has come in front of me I can make some changes according to my need instead of a I can write B or B to hota nahi hai lekin I can make changes how to make changes I am showing you that only okay so from here the structures are there you can add any more uh, equation if you want this is a this is a very complex math equation you can insert it so these are basically for your knowledge how you can insert an equation okay so let's go to this part i am selecting it i am pressing delete it will be gone last is symbol there are many types of symbols which are present just wherever your cursor will be suppose i have written something uh, let's say mm, hello students how are you i've written something and my cursor is here do you see my cursor my cursor is between e and n letter so if i click on symbol and i this one see it will come there wherever your cursor will be the symbol will come there only do you see it see the symbols here copyright and this is omega so if you want more symbols click on more symbols the symbol dialog box will come there are many symbols i can choose any of it i'll click on insert and i'll close it see it has come okay you cannot move it from one place to it's not like an object wherever you will insert the um, symbol it will come down there only okay so from the beginning we had completed home tab uh, insert tab now we will go to come to page layout tab which is the most one of the most important tab over here now students uh, i should have shown you in the first video only but uh, let me go sequence wise 
whenever you open an MS Word document, this is a document I have opened now, whenever you open a document, you should be doing page setup first, yes. Why? Because normally when we create a document, we want it for printing, we want it, want it for uh, posting somewhere and all. So basically, uh, whenever you print a document, we use A4 papers. Do you know A4 papers? You, have, you must have seen it when uh, teachers are giving you some instructions through a piece of document. That is an A4 paper. Basically, in official places, they use A4 paper. There are different types of paper. So if you please concentrate in this page setup group, I'll show you everything. In this page setup group, we have margins. So in the previous videos, I had told you that there are margins left from all four sides. See, this one is in orange. See, this one is selected. That's why it is in orange. From top, left, bottom, right, one inches are left. If I click on narrow, just see the cursor is here. And if I click on narrow, see the cursor has gone over here. And even the margin has changed. Okay, this is how we format the document. Here goes the margins. Orientations. Orientations means the way you will write the or set up the page. Now, normally, uh, the portrait orientation is selected. If you want to change it to the landscape, let me show you in a better way. I'll just reduce the zoom and I'll, yeah. This is a portrait form. If you click on landscape, see, now we will write it in a lengthwise. And here, portrait, see, it is, it is changing. Or I hope you have understood. Now in the same way, if I change the size of a page, here also the length of the page will reduce according to size. See, by default letter is selected. We should be selecting A4. See, A4 thoda sa bad gaya aur yahan se ghat gaya. Now if I change it to a legal, it is coming more bigger. Do you see it? I hope you have understood. So, whenever you open your document for writing purpose, first you do a page setup. First page setting will be normal setting, uh, margins will be normal, orientation will be portrait, size will be A4. I hope you have understood. So let me zoom in and I'll show you something more about it. Now here the columns options are there. Columns means you can divide your, normally when we write we will go, see I'll just give you an example equal to rand 20, comma 3 and see we are writing in in a one column wise only a key column is sub likha what are you now if you want to change it to different columns first select the entire text how to do it by control and a if you press control and a letter from the keyboard all the documents will be selected go to column section make it two columns make it three columns make it whatever according to your need abhi dekho columns not arranged nahi hai it is not arranged from both sides what to do same make it justify alignment and now they all are same from both the sides isn't it looking great yes they are okay so here goes these things now if you want to add some colors onto your page now colors now go to page color and choose any of the colors see any color if you like you can set up any color okay i hope you are getting it. You can set up any color. Maybe pagal ho gaya. Could not choose a color. Now, from there, what else you can do? Again, you click on page color. Go to fill effects. In the fill effects, we can add two colors into it. Click on this. Uh, from this color uh, gradient tab, choose two colors. Choose any of the color. Let's say this and yellow. These are the combination. You can change the combination. You can set up the combination according to you need and click on OK. See, the page color has changed according to it. And then again, more things we can do. You can go to texture. There are already some textures are there. So let me choose this bubble texture and see the background of this page has come like that. So you can play with it. Now page borders, page borders. If you if we provide a border to a page, it looks very nice. So again, from the page layout tab in the page background group we have page border click it this small window will come from here choose a box or whatever with the thickness of the uh, border let me first click uh, this one and see the thickness is if you want to make it bigger or thicker again go to that option and make it six point and see 
how thicker it has become so if you don't like this kind of uh, borders you can change it again click on page border here the art option from here there are many things are there you just click and play with it okay now these are coming bigger how to make it smaller so here the change the width I'll just keep it 10 and see I hope you have understood isn't it these are very amazing things watermark watermarks are something like this uh, text or some images we provide to a document to look uh, look it more uh, trendy and something like that so I'll click on this confidential one and if you have a close look see at the back of it do you see it if you don't see it let me clear it for you see do you see it now confidential something like that it's written you can change the text how to do that go to custom watermark instead of confidential write anything like uh, students okay you can change the color and make it black and so it doesn't look good or you can do one thing from here remove watermark you can add pictures as well so picture watermark select a picture in the picture section so I'll select this picture koala I'll insert and apply do you see it see koala ka dikh hai now let's come to another option which I have left in um, insert tab sorry let me come back again in this insert tab these head and footer things which I had thought is in page layout uh, tab but koi baat nahi. these head and footer things are very important in designing a page now if you are writing a document you might be writing it uh, to 10 pages so here I can see three pages how would I understand which one is first page second page th third page there should be page number yes there should be how to provide a page number koi baat nahi. click on insert tab in the header footer group click on page number where will you put it at the top at the bottom um, at current position wherever you like basically in top and bottom we provide it in the top section again top mein left mein hoga, top mein center mein hoga, top mein right mein hoga. it's up to, according to you I want it to the center I will click on see here yeah. the header se it has come into the header section header section means the area which is left for the margin margin ke area mein bhi aap kuch lik sakte ho, but that will become as a header now it is coming like that how to come out of it just press the ESC upar ki taraf keyboard mein ek, ek button hota hai na ESC escape button just press it and you will see these numbers in different different pages this is first page let me come down second page do you see it let me change the color of the page so that you would understand it better sorry see here is one here is two and here is three abhi header footer kya karta hai header footer will change or will add something into your document like a signature uh, whenever you see some um, online documents uh, some signatures are there same thing is there in every document how to put that by using header and footer header and footer mein aap dekho. Pe. you can put it any kind of header over here you can there are so many formattings are there you can choose any of the formatting or you can just click on edit header you can write anything see uh, by default the page numbers are coming because I have already uh, kept the page numbers so let's not change into it let's uh, show how to design the footer because footer mein kuch nahi hai. footer mein kuch nahi hai. we can change it from here so let's click on insert tab go to footer and I will click on edit footer like I will write my name and what it will do it will bring this particular word or this text in every doc in every page of the document our document is three pages three pages three pages ke three ke three me ke bottom pe hi wo dekhe naam dikhaega same and I will create pages in all the pages, all the pages will be shown. This is header and footer. Whatever you put in header and footer, it will come along with your document. It will come along with your Okay? So that's all for today. Till then, we have completed home tab, insert tab and page layout tab with many options. If you want to learn about more new options, please mention it to the comment section. Like this video, share this video. And if you are new to this channel, please subscribe it with the bell icon 
keep this active so that whenever I upload a new video, you get the notification of it. Next, we will mm, come with more and advanced options. Till then, goodbye.